New KCI terminal will have more room and new technology, but it could be, could it be the most accessible terminal in the world? You have a lot of spaces that you're going to allow for that weren't allowed for before. That's what the Mayor's Committee for People with Disabilities is calling for. At an exclusive interview, 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed sat down with a woman trying to make this happen. These family bathrooms at KCI are some of Michelle Omis's handiwork. She's an Americans with Disabilities Act consultant, and for the new terminal, she is hoping to go above and beyond what the law requires. Michelle Omis is no stranger to pain. I was born a pain in the neck. I tell people I didn't have to become one. I was born when I've never been out of pain in my life. She channels it into her work as an ADA consultant and advocate on projects across the city. I'm so excited about the airport because I was involved when the airport retrofitted. In the early 2000s, Omis helped bring KCI into ADA compliance, improving parking and adding accessible family restrooms. But there was only so much that could be done at the time. Space inside the current gate areas is a premium. We don't even have enough seats or large enough restrooms. So adding the amenities that we need to have for our customers uh, is, is difficult in today's environment. Which is why the new terminal presents an opportunity, a clean slate for more than compliance. I spent 10 hours one day on the computer doing nothing but research because I want to make sure that we are aware of all the technology and all these other things. Technology that could guide the visually impaired through the terminal. But Omis emphasizes physical disabilities aren't the only consideration for the new KCI. We're also trying to consider the quiet spaces, the preparation for the different panic disorders or autism. Delta Airlines installed such a space at the Atlanta airport back in April of 2016. Sure. Right now, these are just discussions between Omis and the rest of the Edgemore team. The final design remains to be seen. It's exciting, but it's endless, and I'm just excited that I have a group that really care. The aviation department is hoping to identify the spaces for all of these features by the fall, and then Omis can get to work on those nitty gritty details in early 2019. Reporting live at KCI, Cat Reed, 41 Action News.